If you are daydreaming of future travels while stuck at home, why fantasize about the beaches of Bali or the canals of Venice when vacationing in space could be in your future? Since ancient times, people have always dreamed of going to space, but only astronauts have been able to go until now. But progress has been made on efforts to enable even private citizens to experience space. And space travel is finally about to become an industry, making space travel a reality. A Californian company, the Gateway Foundation, has revealed plans to build the first space hotel, which is expected to open in 2027. Called Voyager Station, the project will be built by Orbital Assembly Corporation, describing itself as the world's first large-scale space construction company. Voyager Station is described as a rotating space station designed to produce varying levels of artificial gravity by increasing or decreasing the rate of rotation. It will be the first habitable space station with artificial gravity, stated in Orbital Assembly Corporation's website. Expected to cover a total of 50,000 square meters space with a huge ring-shaped form, the project will include restaurants, bars and gyms as well as hotel rooms accommodating up to 20 guests and 112 crew members. Voyager Station will be the first major project of Orbital Assembly Corporation. While the project is aiming to be the first commercial space hotel upon completion, according to Orbital Assembly Corporation's website, the project will be the largest man-made structure in space when completed. The structure will contain 24 habitation modules, including restaurant, event center, villas, and research units. John Blinko, who runs Orbital Assembly Corporation, said that we are trying to make the public realize that this golden age of space travel is just about the corner. It's coming, it's coming fast. Construction of the Voyager facility is expected to start in 2026, and the company intends to welcome its first passengers to the hotel in 2027. According to Blinko, in Voyager Station, passengers will not have the same feeling like in the ground because the passengers will feel a lunar gravity. When they jump in the air, they jump five times higher, is on the Earth. As stated in OIC's website, Voyager Station is composed of three main parts, docking hub, also called the inner ring, outer ring truss, ORD, and habitation ring. Docking hub or inner ring is the first piece of Voyager to be built is an unpressurized ring structure with docking arms and stabilizers designed to capture and lock in place a visiting spacecraft to unload passengers and cargo. All passenger and cargo access to the station will be through a set of pressurized access tubes connecting the docking hub to the outer ring truss, as stated in OIC's website. The company said that the outer ring truss will be built next. The truss is composed of a triangular unpressurized ring truss supported by a network of spokes to the docking hub. The truss will be the backbone of the station and provide mounting for habitable modules, solar panels, radiators and a rail transport system. The third one is habitation ring which is the main part of the project. The outer ring truss or a series of large connected pressurized modules, this is called the habitation ring. Each module will have a pressurized volume of 1809.5 M3 and have 2 to 3 internal levels. Modules will come in a variety of configurations including air water power module, gymnasium and assembly module, kitchen, restaurant and bar module, crew quarters module which will be configurable for gravity and microgravity habitation. There will be also privately owned modules used for villas, hotels or commercial activity, while government-owned modules are used for scientific research, training and stacking facilities. Although the company has not explained the cost of the travel or the room rate, but it said simulated gravity will offer amenities like toilet facilities, showers and beds that function similar to what you are used to on Earth. For example, luxury villas covering 500 square meter area will able to be booked for a week, rented for a month, or purchased as a vacation home. The villas featuring cooking facilities, three bathrooms, and sleeping accommodations for up to 16 people. Moreover, the company added that if you are traveling alone or with a partner, our hotel suites 
are a great place to book for a three-day trip or rent for a month. The hotel suites covering 30 square meter area. These suites will offer private bathrooms, sleeping accommodations for up to two people. A large gymnasium and activity module will be the place to go any time of day or night. The large recreation hall has a ceiling over 7 meter high where passengers will enjoy jumping, running and playing sports in the 1 by 6 earth gravity environment. The Orbital Assembly Corporation OAC was formed with the singular purpose of accelerating the formation of a robust and self-sustaining space construction industry. As stated in OAC's website, OAC's founders come from a variety of backgrounds in business, finance, law, aerospace engineering, architecture, construction, design, simulations, and aviation. And if you enjoyed the video, then please like, share, subscribe, and comment down on the video, and we will see you in the next video.